Assalamualaikum. I'd like to say in the name of the law, the name of the person who asked for our mom, two of them died, we're going to thank him. We made up in our midst of divine, we're going to teach and guide, we're going to come to the most honorable lives of Muhammad. May the peace and blessing of Almighty God our Allah be upon him. We as believers know for a surety that the most honorable lives of Muhammad is no longer with you and I in the physical form. But that will be given to him from Almighty God, Allah, who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, true living God, to live with you and I the believers. And it's indeed an honor and a privilege to be here in this day and time, bearing witness that there's no God but Allah, who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, and the most honorable God Muhammad was his last and greatest messenger. And on that, we as believers must realize and understand how blessed we are to be given a chance to let our light shine and given a chance to strive hard in our lives way to help continue to teach the program of the Most Honorable Dad Muhammad. It's indeed an a honor and a blessing for you and I yeah. to be able to see and understand what the Most Honorable Dad Muhammad has taught us. There's, there's yet a lot of misunderstanding of his teachings. And he was raised up from among you and I to teach and guide us. A man who suffered the same suffering that we suffered, who was lost himself. But on the coming of Almighty God, Allah, who came to the person of Master Prophet Muhammad, to seek and to save that which was lost, he found one from among you and I, to teach and guide us. That's the most honorable night in Muhammad. And he did his job. He was successful. He gave it to us, you and I, to carry it on. And with the help of Almighty God, Allah, we're going to be successful. We are successful in our undertaking of what we, Allah has planned for you and I. But, so much to be said in good time. With the help of Almighty God, Allah, we're going to be successful. It's very few of us. But the challenge, you know, you, you see the challenge, and you know that God is with you. Yeah. You know you're going to uh, be successful, and you stand ready for it. Whatever comes, may. But you ready for it. You know you're going to win. That's the confidence that we have in Almighty God. Allah. We know we're going to win. Praise God. We know we're going to win. Takes time. But we're going to win. And to know that this guy, he has the power of all things. You know, It's really something. When your confidence level, when you reach the peak of your confidence level, you confident. You know it's going to take place. So you don't worry about nothing. Right. Don't worry about nothing. You might say, he said that I remove all that. What you worry about anyway? You can't do that no way. It's him. He's behind you and I. And he's going to make us successful. He's going to make us great. Remember what the message says. He's up you by the nation you accomplish as you will. As we will. We can do it. But we can't do this job without the help of Almighty God Allah. We cannot do it. We will not be successful without his guidance. And the message of leadership and what he taught. We know what he taught. We know he, we, we, he taught us. We got it right here. Right here. We got it right here what he taught us. We don't need a book now. 
We commemorate each other. Yeah. This is going to get us through. We got it in our heads. He taught us that our Lord God who came in the person of Master Prophet Muhammad, true living God, no spook, a man, flesh and blood. We're thankful to know that all the prophets of God, Jesus, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Lot, Jonah, Job, you, you may, you can go on and on. Unless you say that's some that we don't even know, they ain't even mention. They had so many of them. That white race, <laughs> the devil. We know the white man is the devil. Right. Unless you say he's the devil, he always will be the devil. Don't you ever forget it. That means just what it said. I don't care who will come and tell you that he's not. Listen to what the messenger said. Remember what he said. And what he said, it get us through. We're very fortunate to have had a leading teacher that didn't sell us down the road. He didn't take a bribe or means uh, buck this turn, this turn us loose. He loved us more than we loved ourselves. I can bear witness to that. A lot of people like they don't like to hear it. But they don't make any difference. Truth is true. The message was the last and greatest message of them all. Down of Elijah Muhammad. A little bold man. A little sinner like we were. He didn't get it easy. It didn't come easy for him. Allah put him to the test. He was tested all over time. He was found worthy. Just like you and I, we're going to be tested all the time. Not just one time, all the time. We've been tested. Our faith, our trust in Almighty God alone. Sometimes it gets bleak. It gets tough sometimes. Things pile up on you. You get, uh, you go to worrying. Breathing sometimes. It hurts bad sometimes, but that's the difficulty come easy. Rely on our law came the person of Master Prophet Muhammad. That's what we all have to do. He makes things better. It doesn't say that uh, we don't have a certain time to die. You mean that? We don't have a certain time to die. He said we kill ourselves by what we eat and the way we live and what we eat. We kill ourselves. We can live a long time if we be obedient. That's not somebody whispering your word up. No, that's you. We choose our own way. There's only one way. And that's the way that the best we taught us. And if we go this way, we're going to be successful. So we're very fortunate. Just, just a little bit, of, just a few of us. We always can go back and say, well, just, just, it wasn't that many at all. It's his family. Not. Nah, it's his family. Both of the wives went back. Lot's wife went back. Noah's wife went back. But they hit alone. All of these things. So we have to understand that we're making history. We're writing and making history. Just like the prophets of old, all the faithful followers that was with them. They may have went down. They made history. Just like you and I, we go on down, we making history. We're not gonna live forever. No, we're not gonna live forever. We live through our offspring. We die and pass it on to them. They pass it on to the next one. This how it is. But we have to teach them. We have to teach them. But we must remember, remember as believers, the most important thing to remember that our Savior has arrived in the person of Master Prophet Muhammad. And I can tell you, I can tell you, you always learn something in Islam. Don't 
think that you know what to think. Or think, well, I got it. I'm a follow now, I got it. No, you don't have it. You just begin to get it. There's a whole lot left. So much that you won't be able to get in your lifetime. You will never be able to get it all. Oh. But there's always something that you learn where you don't have no doubt in our life. And you believe in what you're doing. Oh, harder than what you're doing. You don't have no doubt. Allah blesses you. He, he, he strings you a, a strength that you can't, you can't express, it, but you know it yourself. You know you have the strength. You know you have the spirit. You get that from Allah. Yeah. He's merciful. He's the most merciful God. And as believers, we need mercy. We need mercy. And He gives it to us. We have to understand that He protects us. He's well able to protect you and I. We have the divine protection. The fathers of the Most Honorable Dr. Muhammad have divine protection. And He's well able to protect you and I. So we're very, we're very, uh, we're very lucky. We're very lucky people. We follow the most honorable life in common, especially in this day and time. We have a whole lot to learn. Because there's so much going on today. And this is 100%, 100% dissatisfaction today. 100% dissatisfaction. But the message taught us this. The devil, the white man, he's dissatisfied with his own government. He, he, he want to change. He's dissatisfied. But we was taught that our love would confuse the heads of state. He would confuse them. They're all confused. You see that. And our people don't even have a clue. They don't have a clue. They think everything is all right. Smoking, drinking, gambling, they're doing everything that they want to do. But they think it's okay. Because white people do it. We do everything we see white people do. See? Smoke, drink, gamble, fornicate, commit adultery, anything, anything that they do, we do. And anything bad that they do, we do it better than what they do it. If it's doing bad, if it's bad, we do better than what they do. Oh, we're worse than them. They made it. But we do it better than them. Whatever it is. But we, we, we're very fortunate to have had a messenger. The most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Why our brothers and sisters never heard of him? Just wasn't born. You, you, beyond 1975, when the most honorable Elijah Muhammad passed away, they never knew, we never knew the work, the work of what Messenger Elijah Muhammad have, uh, 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 have done, because we wasn't on the scene yet. We wasn't born yet, some of us. So we don't really know him. We only heard of him from those who saw him, who was faithful to him, who was still faithful to the teachings of him what he gave you and I. But you have hypocrites that was among you and I, the believers at that time, went astray and fought against what the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad has taught us. They taught against it. Even today, they teach against it. See? That once upon a time, they was believers. So the message was saying, that a hypocrite is one who said he or she believed and then disbelieved. They believed as long as he was alive. 
But some of them did, and he didn't. And when he passed away, it just came out of the true self. They neither was here nor there. But the most I would imagine Muhammad was a, a unique man. He was a champion. He was a messenger of God. He was loyal and devoted. He loved you, and yeah, He loved us very much. For 44 years, this man taught black people. He loved black people. Praise be to Allah. He taught us to do the self, help self, before helping others. Love self before loving others. We love the white man. We love him. Boy, do we love ourselves, the devil. Yeah, he's the devil. Yeah. We, we was taught that the devil was something in the ground. And you couldn't see it. And you only see him when you die. You go to heaven and you go to hell. Now, there ain't no such thing. Heaven and hell is the conditions of life. That's all it is. You don't die to go to it to see nobody. Once you die, physical death, it's all over. You're not coming back. Ain't nobody going to see nobody in their by and by. You through. If I drop dead right now, I'd be here you call the ambulance to move me. Ain't nothing gonna come out of me and go up. Only thing gonna come out of me is the breath of life. Once I breathe in, breathe out, I'm alive. But when I say, that's it. Ain't no coming back in. That's going out. You see no spirit come from me, rise up nowhere. That breath, what you breathing in? That's your spirit. Yeah. Next stop, you too. That's how it, that's, that's how it is. The white man said, oh, we're going to ride and go to heaven. Pearly gates. Paid with gold. No more work. Just sit back. Do nothing. You have to build heaven. You have to work. Right. You get heaven? That's right. Man builds his heaven. Can't get something for nothing. Nothing for nothing means nothing. That's mathematics. Mm -hmm. Try to get zero from zero and come up and see what you're going to get. Zero. You have to put forth effort. When you come into the light, you put forth effort. That baby is kicking and fighting and trying to get through here and coming. I don't know why I'm not a woman when I see what, what, what's going on. They tell you what's happening. You kicking the side. What are you kicking now? He's trying to get out. He's trying to come out. He's fighting from the beginning. He's fighting. That's right. He's working, trying to do something, trying to come on out. That's us. That's this love. That's the father of the message. Yeah. We're trying to fill the heaven for ourselves while we live. Yeah. Because we know when we die of physical death, it's all over with. Yeah. All that you didn't do for that person, you didn't do it, you won't get a chance to do it. That's, that's food. Crying and all, how tell him how good he was. You never told him. Don't make no difference. Give them all kind of praise while they live. The message we talk about. That's right. Love them and tell them how much you love them while you're alive. Right. But once you start hollering, you in that casket, he can't hear you. You should have. You should have told him why he lied. It's nothing now. So that's. That's understandable to us now. Because we used to believe in the school. Right. Jesus is Lord. Jesus only means justice. Christ means crushing. One who comes at the end of the world to crush the wicked. Now who's the wicked? Not you and I. The white man. The devil. That's the wicked guy. That's right. See? There ain't nobody you got to die to sin. Uh, he's white, got brown hair, blue eyes, he wears suits. When he get cold in the winter, he wears coats and shoes. You walk with him. You may think he's your buddy, your friend. That's the devil. He's white. Oh, my, oh, my, my neighbor's white. He, oh, he's just good. That's what he said. If they're white, they're all the same. You go to vote, you can go, do what you want to do. I love it. You said if there was gold water, they named silver water or brass. 
If they're white, they're all the same. All the same. They don't care for the black man or woman. They do. They're all the same. Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump, elect president, Donald, they white, they hugging now. They, after the election, they, they drinking coffee and tea and stuff. Right. Sipping on wine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You went out and voted, you think that's nice. Best I'm not going to vote for either one of them. Mm-hmm. Right. Vote for yourself. That's who you vote for. That's, that's what's going to happen. They're not going to give you and I nothing. If, if, if Hillary Clinton were the one, it had been the same thing. Right. Just another devil going to keep you in slavery. Right. President Obama, he couldn't do what he wanted to do. They didn't, they didn't respect him for the black man. I don't care how, what kind of position or what kind of post you have. If you're black, you never get respected by the white man. He's the devil. By nature, he's an enemy to black people. And that's what they kidnapped our four parents and brought them here. They didn't come over here on their own. Our four parents just didn't come here to see something good. They lied and tricked him and kidnapped him over here. Talking about gold on top of the ground. Gold on gold on top of the ground and gold in, in the ground. You don't find nothing on top of the ground, no gold. You have to dig for it. But you can't get something for nothing. See? We didn't come over here. We were put in slave. We're still in slave. Taught us how to eat the wrong food. Taught us to pray to the wrong God. Think Jesus is God. Jesus was only a messenger of God. That's all he was. A man. A messenger. Who was ahead of his time. That's all Jesus did. We pray to Jesus. Jesus, like I said, only justice. He wasn't no crusher. Christ wasn't no crusher. He was a messenger of God. He did all his work in Palestine. Right. Asia Minor. That's where he did his work. Yeah. He wasn't no believer in Christianity. Christianity is a slave-making religion. It was organized and made up by white people. That's who, where Christianity came from. That's where it came from. It didn't even exist in the time of Jesus' time. There was no such thing as Christianity. Christianity didn't come about, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us, until after the death of Jesus. That's when Christianity came on the scene. And he gave us that to keep us blind, deaf, and dumb. And that's exactly what he did. He said, okay, nigga, excuse me, you get yours when you die. Yeah. Don't get there ever now. Don't even look for it now. Mm-hmm. Where'd you get that? Then you go up there. With the power of pearly gates and everything. You eat grapes and all this different kind of thing. Milk and honey. Mm-hmm. Go right over to the liquor store or down to Kroger and get some milk and honey. You, don't, you have to die. Go, to your, go down the street. Wherever they at the store, they might have some honey. But you probably can get you some milk. You know, you don't have to go up there in the pretty gates and get milk and honey. No, you can buy that right now. So you know that, that ain't no big deal of that. See? These kind of things. They just made a complete fool out of you and I. Because who was blind, deaf, and dumb. See? And you all these different kind of things. You can say, all these Muslims, these niggas is crazy. Well, that's what they call us niggas. I don't mean that's only a tool. That's what a nigga is, a tool. You use it. That's what it is. That's what you two nigga, nigga, whatever they say, niggas. How do you pronounce it? Niggas, they be Spanish. We still, you nigga. They know what it means. You use it. Like you see a lemon, you squeeze it. And that's what they've been doing for over 400 years. They've been using you and I. Same thing. And was fighting and killing one another. Think we better than each other. Jealous of each other. Hate each other. But we love what? Love him. We want to be his brother. It's in him. He was made great by his father. We put in him to kill black. We are very fortunate to be father of the most honorable black Muhammad. Yeah. See? But they say, oh, he's too strict. But it's for y'all own good, it's for my own good. We have to have rules, laws, rules, and regulations to, to control us and guide us. Like the devil, he got a law. See? They carry guns. Real bullets. 
that's you. Make sure you're going to do it. Who going to do that? God is on our side. Allah who came to person the master prophet Muhammad is the law of man. He's the one that protects us against that weapon. Because he was there, he can't buy a shot unless it pleases him. He, see, the white man don't want you to know who Master Farad Muhammad is. He don't want you now to know who the messenger was, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. All the lies they tell on him. They do all they can to keep you and I from following the teachings of the messenger. Because they know once you go into Islam, it's going to pull the coat off the white man. We let him know who our real enemy is. Right. It's not each other, it's him. Yeah. He's causing us to fight each other. That, that's what that is. Oh yeah. He was slick. Yes. We'll die for him. He told us all. You can't be a Christian unless you turn your cheek. If I slap you on one side of your face, you turn the next side, let me slap you on that side. Okay. That's what he said. You've been a Christian. If I come on, I took my foot, my foot, and kicked you in your butt. You would let me kick you on other cheek. You turn around, right go ahead and kick me, brother. You can't, man, if you don't do that, it makes sense, but if you don't do that, you're not a Christian. That's what you have to do. You, you look at him, you slap me, I'm slapping you back. Right. Yeah, you forget all that. Brother, we love. You trying to hurt me. Right. God don't. What kind of God are you praying to? Right. Our God said, defend yourself. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's why I try to hit him up, pick the best up. I need it. I'm not going to hurt you. Do all I can to be your brother. I'm not turning no teeth. I'm not running. I'm running into you. Yeah, gee, I'm not messing with us that. That's white man talking back. He's the one was busting us and kicking us and raping us and, and, and lynching us. He was the one. Yeah. See? He walk up to you and slap you on your face. You're not a good Christian. Oh, God, pray for him. He know not what he do. Or oh, he know not what she do. And she slap your face and she don't know what she do? I tell you one thing. Let that sister brother slap your side of your head and see you don't stand there. Oh, the whole place gonna start fighting. He's one of them brothers. Or oh, sister, if they hit you, your very nature, tell hey, you that's something wrong with that. That's right. Your very nature gonna say, wait a minute, man. Right. Wait a minute, you don't, you, you don't throw up something to try to hit him back. Right. That's your nature, that's you. But see, we go against our nature when we let, and the devil tell us that, no, turn your cheek. Pray for it. Oh, Father, for that loud deal. Oh, Father. They know not what they do for that lie on Jesus. Jesus running for his life. Every time they're crying, they're trying to kill him. Right. It's a lie they told you and me. You will get yours when you die. You go down in the ground, you're dead now. You die a physical death. You got a bottle of blue and all that shot in you. There in the casket. You're lifeless. Then they're going to put you in the ground. So six feet of dirt on you. Down on the ground, six feet, then they cover with dirt. Then you're going to rise up. And go to heaven somewhere. That sounds crazy. Yeah. And we know ourselves, we know it's crazy. Mm -hmm. But we accept it because we just go along with the program. Right. You go along, you go along with that program, you go right along with the devil to hell. That's where you're going to go. Islam is your religion. It's the natural religion of man. That's something that the devil is not going to accept. He's not going to teach Islam because Islam makes him manifest. Right. You show him the real devil in Islam. Mm -hmm. Islam is not hard. It's just yourself. It's your natural self. Right. When you're not accepting Islam, you're being other than your natural self. Your natural self is a righteous Muslim. That's right. You are Muslim by nature. You born a Muslim. But since our foreparents been in the hands of an enemy, they adopted Christianity as our religion. Mm -hmm. Christianity, is, like I said, is a slave making religion. It's for white folks to rule black people. Mm -hmm. As long as you keep them in Christianity, you rule them. That's right. Because they believe in a spook. They don't believe in reality. Right. Hell. 
hell. You got the hell is in the ground. Yeah, in a way. Yeah, hell is in the ground, but you ain't coming back. That's where you come from, right? What you look like going up there for? Ain't no nothing up there. You say heaven. That's that. That's what it is. Sky is. It's, it's, you it's, go into it. That's the heavens. You know, all the time up in the heavens. What kind of pearly gate up there? The Holy Ghost. What ghost? We never thought. We never think. Every time a white man carried you on our son, well, oh, yes, a boss, we accepted hook, line, and seat. We never thought about it. We're too scared to say, what do you mean, man, heaven up there? What, what do you mean? Explain that to me. We never said, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Laugh that bad, it ain't funny. White man says something, you say, <laughs> it ain't funny at all. You just laugh. He put us like that. He made us like that. And we adopted his way of life. But you're a righteous Muslim. But we've been hearing so much negativity about Muslim. It makes you shame. We don't know who our law is. We make mock with some of us sometimes. How can they believe? They don't believe in Jesus. They don't believe in, we believe in all the prophets of God. Right. All of them. We believe in Jesus, all of them. He was a major prophet. Jesus. You believe in Jesus? Yes. A righteous man. A righteous servant of Allah. Mm-hmm. Jesus taught Islam. Yes. Jesus spoke Hebrew and Arabic. Mm-hmm. He speaks no English. But mm-hmm. I mean, there's no such thing as that. Right. Check the history. See what he spoke. Moses. Ancient Egyptian and Arabic. That's what Moses spoke. Well, no. English. It's the Arabic. Back there in the day. The Arabs and the different countries come over. You hear them speaking some of them. Some of them can't speak English. But they can speak Arabic. That's the mother language. That's our language. That was our language by our forefathers' language. When they brought them over here. Kept them back. People come over to visit. They kept them back. They wouldn't let them come up. Hear them. That's right. They don't tell us the right history. Eating hog, the divine and prohibited flesh. Pig, pork chops, ham, bacon, pigtails, pig feet. You can, you can eat everything but the oint. You can eat that hog. But you can't catch that on but you can catch everything else. You can eat it. that pig and it makes you sick yes. but he said Jesus cured it well done you know it's well done see I had that worm hit me it gets in your uh, bloodstream then it works its way in, into your your joints your bones the message said and it works its way all the way up your spinal cord that little worm they grow long sometimes, long. When they have to be there, thousands of them dispersing your body. It works the way all the way up to your brain, and then you throw it. That's that pig, that bacon and ham. Yes. Spam. You cook it real done, they say. You can't kill that worm. You have to burn it up. Yes. When you burn it up, you won't eat no bird food. No bird hog, bird pig, burn everything. But you had to burn this thing up to kill it. Then mm-hmm. we said not too long ago when this brother went down and bought some, some ribs from what is Walmart? Mm-hmm. Some ribs. Put it on the barbecue, barbecuing it. And he looked around and saw a worm, a big worm like that, wheeling his way out of the out of the barbecue. Right. It was on this was on uh, on the YouTube. Yeah. A, a worm like that. And he said, Lord, he said, I can't tell you what he said. And he, he said, ah, oh, man, I ain't going to never eat no more of this. Right. Yeah. And she said, his wife said, well, well, we won't go to Walmart get no more. He said, no, we ain't going to no more get no more of this stuff. Right. That was a fire under the thing 
It didn't kill him. You have to burn it. You kill it, burn it. That, that's how it is. Yeah, that's that wrong that they tell us. He chitlins. Yeah. His guts. You put him straight up the whole house. Right. You cook a piece of that straight up the whole house. Don't want food supposed to smell like that. No. I mean, it's stank. Yeah. He murdered it. Yeah. Jesus killed it. And that lie on Jesus. You don't touch the carcass of a hog. Don't touch it. Right. If I have prohibited flesh, you touch it, you start smelling funny. Chitlin. Yeah, I still eat him. Yeah. I thought I, I, I love him. I ate him. Why mm -hmm. I'm so crazy? <laughs> you know what was happening to me? Why act the old man? Want to fight all the time. That's that pig. Mm -hmm. Greedy. Mm -hmm. You love everything. Just greedy. Mm -hmm. We take on the characteristics of that animal. What we, what we eat. Pick a pig feet. That's pus. That's what you call pus when you get that little, little thing, that little sticky stuff. You say, you know how it is. Yeah, yeah. Man, that's that pus. Pus. But you eat it. But it's good. But it's killing you in the long run. Oh, I ain't dead. My daddy ate it. Yeah. It's all right. Where is it now? Keep eating it. You get you in the long run. That poison. That trickling. That worm. White right, folks ain't gonna tell you that. When I was coming, they just throw chickens away. They said other things. Let them be sad. They throw chickens in the field. Just throw chickens away. They didn't sell it. The black people start going down and getting the cops throwing them out. You know how that dog is? Already giving you a divine hip prohibited gun and throw it away. He didn't want it. He thought he didn't want it. But he, we went and got it out. People went and got that. I know this for a fact. Then he saw all the black people start getting that stuff he throwing in the garbage. The garbage cans. He started selling. Yeah. Company called Swiss. Yeah. Over a billion dollar interest. That's right. Today, billion dollar interest. Mm -hmm. Just on chitlins. Mm -hmm. Believe me, black people eat them. Yeah. Kind of devil every now and then might eat some. Old Mount Devil, he might eat something. Well, too many of them, not even Mount Devil. Right. They got better sense than we got. We come down there at home. Mm -hmm. See, we eat anything. Anything the white man say, USDA. Yeah. USDA. Bring it on. Well, we just cut out the others, cut out the poison. Okay, bring it on. USDA. Here we go. USDA. Oh, no, no, you have to get it proof, type of proof. Yeah. You go buy it and eat it and get sick. You go to the devil and he give you some medicine and that's going to kill you. Keep taking that, that's going to kill you. All these things. But we didn't know these. This, this, this stuff in here, this kind of thing until the messenger uh, came on the scene. Right. He taught the black man this. Mm -hmm. We didn't know this. We had no idea that we were eating poison food. No. Right today, they give us poison food. Today, we should be thankful to Almighty God, our Lord, who came in the person of the Master for our Muhammad. I never knew it. None of us never knew it. Before the coming of Almighty God, our Lord, who came in the person of the Master for our Muhammad, raised one from among you now, teach us. That's the messenger, Elijah Muhammad. Yeah. But they made so many scorn him, talked about him. Talk about his followers. Just persecutors. How many wives he's supposed to have had? All the secretaries he's supposed to have had. Illegitimate children he's supposed to have had. All this they talked about found him alive, man. Never did they talk about the good work he done. Never did they talk about he saved me, helped me. Never they talked about it. All this confuse and try to confuse you mm -hmm. to keep you away right. from the teaching of the message. It's the only thing going to save you. Yeah. Christianity is not going to save you. Christianity can't save itself. That's right. This way you make a religion. You're going to pray to Jesus. Jesus can't hear you. 
He can't hear you. He dead. Yeah. You can pray all night long. You won't get an answer. Jesus is dead. Yeah. A few thousand years ago, is dead. Mm-hmm. He's lifeless. They say you can see his body. You believe that? Oh, no, no, no. Yes, you can. You can go right over there. You got the money. That's right. Back at the time, it, it cost, what, $6,000. It might be double that now. Mm-hmm. The veteran said it cost you $6,000 to go over there. They'll show you Jesus. You can see him. You say, well, if I die and go to hell, you can believe that. You believe you hold in heaven and stand again? How come you can't believe that? But I'm lying. This is medical over there. I think the word that is, uh... Yeah. yeah, the body. What old Pope over there? Pope Tyrone was there? Or Pope? You know what's going on. You can see the golden calf, too. Yeah. Go on over there. See, they take you through there. They had armed guards would take you through to say you got this lot of mirrors. A lot of mirrors around. But they take you through that, you see the reflection, you wouldn't know which 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 actually where he's at. But you see by the reflection. They say because the messenger said when in the air, anything get to it, it it disintegrate. And he said that um, when they bomb, when they put what they call it, Joseph that had him in bomb was about to last 10,000 years. That's what the message is talking about. That his body was going to last 10,000 years. See? You can see it. But see, I don't like to see that, but it might cost a whole lot of money. We all would like to see it, but you know, that's it. I, I believe it anyway. Betsy said, I don't have to see you really. You know, I'm convinced. I'm convinced. See, thank you to Almighty God Allah who came to the person of Master Rob Hunter. We're all brothers and sisters. That's what makes it so good. That he's so slick, he got in and he divided us. He divided us. We black, we think we better than this. We don't, we, we jealous of each other. Jealous of enemy. That destroys individuals. And it messes with our progress. Jealousy. To love your black brother and sister as you love yourself. Do unto your black brother and sister as you have done it to yourself. Treat everybody right. He said, even white folks. We treat the white man right. right. We know he's a devil. We know he ain't no good. But we still have to treat him right. Because right. we know our life going to get him. I'm not going to get it. I'm going to get all those who win. Christianity is going down. When the blind lead the blind, they all fall in the ditch together. And they just put Jesus up. Take the name of a righteous servant and say he taught Christianity. And it was Islam that he taught. Freedom, justice, and equality. That's what he taught. He didn't teach when you die a physical death, you're going to, uh, going to heaven. In hell, it's conditions of life. Like I said, you got money in your pocket? Right now, you got a little money in your pocket? Your bills is paid? Your refrigerator is full? You feel all right? That's happening. Yeah. Yeah, that's happening. When your refrigerator door, you open and the wind hits in your face. You know how it is sometimes you open that refrigerator and the wind hits you. You may not have had that wind. I had it. Years ago, I had some wind hit me in my face. Mm-hmm. That means there wasn't that in there. Mm-hmm. If you got something packed in there, ain't no wind going to come out. Wind come out when ain't nothing in there. And I had wasn't nothing in there when I opened it. Dope man had it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dope man had all the it. Couldn't keep nothing in it. Yeah. Couldn't keep nothing in the refrigerator. Couldn't keep nothing in my pocket. Couldn't keep no shoes on. Nothing. Mm-hmm. Dope man had it. So, you ain't looking at somebody ever see a spoon in the mouth. No, uh-uh. You ain't never had a silver spoon in my mouth. No. Better even not. You can silver spoon, it works. If you put one there, you better work to get it. It will just happen. Silver spoon when you ain't got to do nothing. Already did. Put it in your mouth. No, you don't get that kind of spoon. 
No. So when you find yourself close to down here or something wrong, see? Just like today. I was listening to the movie, the news. How they got our people thinking that's medical marijuana. It's medical now. It's alright to smoke it now because it's medical marijuana. I can smoke it. Not, I don't have to go to the dope man, to the weed house. And have a brother come to the dope, give me a nickel bag. It's medical weed, yeah, medical way around. I can smoke it now, it's legal. You been want to smoke it all the time. But you ain't got to go hide and get it. You back out of it, knock it on the back door, back when you were two. You go now. We saw a sign, me and my wife, the other night. Turn the direction where to go. Big, 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 big sign. Big billboard. And out there in Rose Park, it's here. Right. You don't see that out there. And the white folk breathe here, here. You don't see no medical nothing from there on out there. Mm-hmm. They got it here in Detroit. Right. Where the niggas is. That's what they say. Take them where the niggas is. Right. Yeah, bye. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got dope houses, marijuana houses all down. Bang, bang. Mm-hmm. Side by side. Mm-hmm. Marijuana houses. You know what they say? How much money they pay for the state? All over 28 billion. Wow. All I got today, I like popped out my feet. 28 cents a year. Say no two, three years, one year. This all around, more all around. 28 billion dollars. Tax revenue. That's a lot of smoke. That's a lot of joints. Yes. A lot of joints. Who yeah. buy Black folk. White folks probably get it. They come in. Oh, yeah. Come in here to Detroit. Come in the city and get it. You can find it out there. You don't hardly see it in the world. Mm-hmm. Right on the other side of Edmar. You don't see that like you see here. That's just over there. That's not less lower, less middle class devils. They're not middle class. They're less than middle class. They're little, 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 little. You don't even see it over there. Right here in the city. I got so high they went and voted the wrong one. <laughs> you got so high they went and think they voted for Hillary and voted for Trump. <laughs> but they don't realize both of them devils. They got the same goal in common to put on the nigga's head. They believe the same thing. She's just a woman. She more vicious though. Oh yeah. Oh, she more vicious. She more cunning mm-hmm. than the white man. Mm-hmm. That white woman is woo. She more cunning, brother. She know how to get you. That's what said. <laughs> Kiss a duck. Right, she go after the black man with her little twitchy eye. Yeah. Yeah, Delano. Yeah, that's her. She got Samson, didn't she? Strong man Samson. You talking about the black man. That's the strong man Samson. That's what she got. The white man know that. That's why he give us these little girls. That's what he said, these little girls. So do the black man. She know what to do. She know how to prank, but she's a dog. She look at you. That's how she look at you. When she looking at you with her guys, she <laughs> yeah, that's how she do. That's how they do. And you just captivate you. You just that look like a track, see? She built. How they gonna make them you must say in this day. You know how they do the little dances and things on their toes? Uh-huh. That's to build them up. Oh, Get them ready for the black man. And she look at you when you come. Oh, <laughs> Some of them say, Whoa. <laughs> Bark at you. Yes, you know? Right. You know, that man, she ain't got a man. He ain't nothing. Black man is God. Right. Black man is making on the queen of the planet of God and universe. God! Black man. That's what she want. White woman is a snake. Yeah. She vicious. Yeah. Samson didn't even find out his strength. Yeah. Said how much she loved him. Yeah. Loved him and crossed and sold him and everything. Tell me what you spent here. Tell me what you spent my ass, baby. Oh, man. Half. We'll go here and another one. Cut all the locks off. Do it for her people. Right. Just like she's gonna do it for her people. Right. Nothing said he got it. 
They got a mind to train. You kiss one of them, you might kill. You say, that's why they call it the kiss of death. You kiss one of them devils, it might kill you. Well, now go that cat bit one of them, he died, and a cat bit him. The old cat bit him, he died. This is what's going on. But you got the black woman. Queen mother civilization. Tell me no up, please. Queen mother, our sisters walking around out here. Walking wild, acting wild. Don't know she's a decent, most decent thing on the planet. Right. When she taught how to be a woman. Like we taught how to be a man. We didn't know who was men. We act like little boys. But he taught us who was a man, black man, who was a god. Queen mother is a queen mother of civilization. That's your queen. We don't go man, no white woman, no devil. You mad devil, you walking your dog. That's what you're doing. Put a leech on her, till the girl unfold and go ahead on. Come here, boy. That's what you got. She ain't nothing. Queen mother civilization. How to act. How to be a woman. How to be a mother. That's why that control can save her husband. Quit so. How to act at home in a bar. Dignified. When they walk, they see it. She dignified. But she taught how to be a woman. Oh, I know how to be a woman. No, you don't. I know a woman when I see one. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't got to have on no minister. No cock pants. Yeah, better get the pants hot. Walk around here. I got hot pants on. Tell everybody, my pants is hot. That's right. That's what you do. Take a lot of our clothes. Take the sister out of clothes. That's the, that's his that's his game. To lower our black woman. To tell the world not to respect our black woman. To look up the heels. We don't know what it is over the door for a black woman. He taught us that. He put us in that. But the messenger brought us out of that. Right. So that's what he did. That's what he did for us. We marry our own kind. No man, no white man, or no white woman. We marry a black man and a black woman. We only marry one white. That's right, one white. One white. Talk about the mess you had all three, four wives. He had one wife that I know that was Sister Clara Muhammad. Right. And that's the only one he said he had. That's right. He didn't say, when he passed, you know, his wife passed before him. Mm -hmm. He came out and went on back in, took care of his baby. Sister Clara Muhammad. Graceful. Loyal to him. Did what he asked her to do when they locked him up. She took care of the business. That's right, the sister. Give what her husband asked her to do. Well, I love the going to that's okay. But they would try. She did what she supposed to do. The master said, honey, you do this? She did it. With grace. That's the black woman. You see them all walking down there, wearing pants, hats tucked to the side. I would it. They don't know who they are. Get caught up in the style. Want to look better than this from back now? Be yourself. Yeah. All you got to do is be yourself. Yeah. It's graceful and as beautiful as you are. Yeah. All you got to do is the best you talk about. Don't be other than yourself. Be yourself. It's a righteous Muslim. Yeah. See? These are the kind of thing. Then you see what's happening. Right. Start trying to be yourself and start cleaning yourself up and see what's happening. See how many friends you have. What are they going to say? Are you trying to be funny? Yeah. They see you trying to clean up, trying to, to, to cover yourself. You know, you brought the same way, wearing suits about to bust out of it. You know what I'm saying? Be yourself. You dress properly. You know? Chest all, shirt all over, go zero. You have on your chest, have on your chest, cold is be standing up. <laughs> Shut all over, down all back and breeze it. Tack it on this pen. Zero, you stand out there. Pose it. <laughs> cool.
Who the hell he's posing? This kind of thing. Make up other mouth say we try to do everything else to please white people. See? I'm not a star, brother. Oh, you know, it's, 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 it's a whole lot. It ain't nothing a whole lot. Like I said, no, I want a whole lot to know. Just his family. Right. Not just his family. Mm-hmm. Wasn't a whole lot of them. But the Bible said 144,000, didn't it? Right. There's over 20 million of us. Right. 20 million! Right. But there was 144,000 going to see them. Like they had the, 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 the seal of the lamb, the foreheads. The knowledge. You know, it's real seal. Mm-hmm. No, it's the knowledge. Right. Seal in their foreheads. Mm-hmm. The knowledge what's been taught. The knowledge who their messenger was. The knowledge who their guide. That's seal in their head. Right. Not only the seal in their head, they do it by action. See, 144,000. See, here. Yeah. If it please Allah, if it please whatever. That's what the Bible says. Right. That's what the prophet of the world said. They must have said, you can't. They don't lie. You can't make them out of a lie. See, not the prophets. That's what they said. And I said before, none of them. Jonah, what, with 200,000? They said they had more in than was going to be nothing. Jonah was 200,000 that were saved and none of them. Mm-hmm. But this here, it's execution time here now, brothers and sisters. We have to fly on to our own time. Mm-hmm. You know, this is how it is. Your life, our life, all of our life, depending on Islam. That's going to save us. That's the only thing going to save us. Christianity is not going to save us. It's some slave making religion, it's a false religion. It's not going to save you and I. Freedom, just and equality. This one I'm going to save us. Yeah. And it teaches us how to be Muslim. Abraham gave us the name Muslim. By nature, we're Muslim. By nature. That means to do what's right. We're righteous by nature. That means doing what's right, keeping your fellow man right, obeying the laws of Islam, praying to Almighty God, Allah, and obeying His message. That's righteousness. Doing love for your brothers and sisters, that's what you love for yourself. That's righteousness. That's what that is. It's not hard. You know, rituals. You have to jump around or, or, or rope or something, hop over a basket or turn around and spin your free folk time which way you go. No, that's, it's not none of that. So what you accept it or not. When you accept Islam, I'm not you. When you accept Islam, you start practicing it, practicing it, you'll see the difference. When you start put that cigarette down, stop smoking, Stop drinking, fornicating, dodging, lying, stealing, backbiting, all these different kind of things. You'll start feeling better. you start feeling better. Don't wait. Stop practicing. Even ourselves. We have to practice. Oh, we ain't got to make it. We got to make it. You got to make it. I see you five times, right? So do I. Well, I'm Muslim. I got to make it. No, no, it ain't. ain't. No, 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 no. That work can be done. Yeah, yeah. we start right now. So we have to practice and say our prayers five times a day. We got to eat the right food. All this we got to do as Muslims. So we can be in the state of our law. So my conclusion, I say, I saw my lady, brother. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to say to pass it on to brother uh, Bates. And he's based on the streets of and uh, Uta Gabir. All sent the greetings of our Salaam Alaikum to our brother and sister. And sister, oh yeah, sister Sarazza also sent to be some other nations to brothers and sisters. We have a guest. What's your name, sister? Katrina? Bad hands. And your name, sister? There you go. There you go. All right, all praise to God. Glad to have both of y'all here. Both of y'all here. Glad to have both of y'all Just come on. Keep coming. Keep coming. I just like to, like to say uh, what I said. Uh, it wasn't a defense of nobody. I'm not trying to defend nobody. I hurt anybody's feelings. But nothing like that. It's just teaching the most humble life and humble you taught us. You have to get it wrong to us, brothers and sisters, so that we can understand that like, no doubt. But we all love you. We all brothers and sisters. We hope for all that you come back again and keep coming. 